Hello, my name is uh, Lorenzo Valeri and this is my individual presentation where I'm going to talk about where fallen and prey in non-critical thinking. Um, first of all, um, let's talk uh, about the four instincts uh, I think affects me the most. The second of all, the reason why all of this happened and in particular the behavior that I have in those particular situations. Lastly, how to solve the problems. Um, but let's take a look at the first thing since. Um, well, I always had problems whenever I had conversation with someone to say the right number. That's my basically my problem. Um, Let's say that I'm discussing the number of poor people in a certain country without being really prepared on the topic. I usually tend to overreact on the numbers. Like these people can lose their faith in me and after a bit they tend to not listen to me anymore. The only solution that comes to my mind, um, first of all, start being prepared on topics uh, I'm jumping into, obviously, and uh, so that I will be sure that I'm not saying the wrong number. And if I'm not sure of what I'm going to say, then I will always try to say less instead of more. Um, jumping into the next one, for me the, the, the funniest one. Um, I'm always the, uh, the, the one blaming the other. Sometimes I even blame the dog. Um, I know, it's crazy. Um, I remember that a few weeks ago I couldn't find my airpods uh, um, and it was actually the third pair that, uh, that the third or even the fourth uh, that I lost and because I couldn't accept the fact that uh, I lost another pair I started blaming my girlfriend and at the end she bought me another pair um, I was able to convince her um, that she was the one who lost it but being honest it's not really nice to do to do so so in the future i will try to recognize when i'm wrong and i will stop blaming the others for something that i did oh <laughs> i will also stop losing airpods probably if i can do that but the fear instinct is the one that uh probably gave me more problems it's always been easy uh to go over to go over a fear i think it's easy for everyone um unless it's like a big fear and for me this big fear is uh, the fear of being lonely um, lonely and not loved. Um, I know there's a lonely. I know there's a lot of lonely people with no parents and no friends. Uh, and when I see their faces, I can see there's something in their life that is missing. Uh, and I'm really scared of having that same problem too. Um, but being honest with you, thanks to my character and being, I know I will never be lonely. And even though it would be easy. Um, not to be scared of something like this. I think I will keep uh, this fear for the rest of my life uh, even though I can realize easily that it's nothing to be scared of. Um, yes. So realize uh, what is actually a real fear of what actually something can happen and, and not. Um, but what about the last one? I always tend to judge people from their exterior aspect. For me, for example, every single person that is not well dressed uh, uh, with some nice clothes uh, is considered poor. I know it's bad. Um, this doesn't happen only with poor and rich people. Uh, it could happen also with a lot of other things. I'm not really good at understanding people, so it's always been easier to generalize everything and describe all the similar people in the same way. But you know, you can't really do this, so the only solution I, I can see, how am I going to avoid this? Well, um, taking everything for granted is, uh, is it's wrong, so in the future I will try to avoid this as well, judging someone without knowing, knowing who or she really is. Um, these were the instincts where I fall in and pray no critical thinking and uh, my solution on how to avoid them. Uh, thank you very much.